League City, Texas is where Edley hit us up from. He said, what, what would a successful season look like in College Station given previous year's preseason expectations and obvious failure? I guess we could all agree that Texas A&M failed last year miserably, fantastically, spectacularly. Okay, that's enough. I got a lot of friends... I got a lot of friends around the Aggie program who comment on everything we say about Texas A&M. So I, I always have this little smile on my face because I know they're listening and I know I'm going to get feedback. I should just start mentioning them by name. So what's reasonable? If you go five and seven, what is reasonable? Well, there's no easy way to answer that because you have to know the conditions. You have to know the details. Why did you go five and seven? Well, if you went five and seven because your roster is terrible, well, then we have to ask ourselves, did you upgrade the roster? That is not why AM went five and seven. They went five and seven despite having a really talented roster. Need I remind you, offensively last year, they were 101st in points per game. Uh, they, were, they were 75th or worse in every major offensive statistical category. So what's reasonable? What would be successful this year? Well, here's what I'm not going to do with them. I'm not going to dumb down expectations. I'm not going to water down expectation level just because you sucked last year. So if Texas A&M had this team they have this year, but they had gone eight and five last year, everyone would expect 10 wins. They have the same team this year that they just had in that scenario I gave you. I am not going to sit here and say seven or eight wins is successful just because they went five and seven last year. Because the fact is you shouldn't have gone five and seven last year. So you need to be up there in that nine or 10 win range. That's where you should be. That's where Texas A&M should be uh, over a half decade into Jimbo Fisher's tenure there. They've got one of the best talent rosters in the country. They just went and got Bobby Petrino as offensive coordinator. So they made the change at coordinator they needed to make. You're, you're not void of talent out there. You're well positioned. They are the fourth best odds favorite, I guess, to win the SEC championship right there with Tennessee. Did you know that? Do you know, do you know A&M and Tennessee have the same odds to win the SEC? That is, that is Las Vegas odds makers telling you, hey, we don't care about last year either. We have to take seriously this talent roster. We can't water down their expectations because of last year. And I don't think that you should either if you're a Texas A&M fan. So success, what it would look like to me is nine wins, be competitive in every game. Bama has to come to your place this year, by the way. And also success would look like a much more healthy functioning offense, a much more consistent offense week to week instead of this, this thing that we saw last year. Um, that no infighting, uh, no rumors of Jimbo Fisher not being able to relinquish control of the offense, no November drama of Bobby Petrino's exit after one year just being a formality now. We don't need to be hearing any of that. That's failure. Success would be the opposite. Success is come week four, Auburn's coming into town to open conference play, and we're looking and we're seeing that they've already beaten New Mexico. They went on the road and beat Miami. They beat UL Monroe. And here we go. We're about to dive into conference play. They've got Auburn at home. They go up to Dallas to play Arkansas. Then they get Bama at home. That could be a, a nice little stretch there if everything's functioning the right way. If it's not functioning the right way, there are really four losable games. There are five losable games before their bye week. You, you see quickly? This is the SEC, so every schedule is like this, except Georgia. Uh, but you see quickly how things could turn, how the, how the seesaw, the pendulum, whatever you want to use, could swing violently one way or the other. If it, if it does go sideways, like if they have two or more losses by the time they get to that bye week, bad times, bad times ahead. Now, they could rebound and go undefeated down the stretch, so it's, it's not like everything's out the window. But you asked me what success looks like. They need to win nine or 10 games. That's what success looks like. And, and it needs to coincide with the offense looking really good. We need to be watching A&M this year saying, wow, that offense is night and day different from years past. Maybe that was the only, maybe that was the only fix that was needed with this program. Sometimes that's all it takes.